You confusing natural hair colors seen in springs and summers? I find that people who have tried to self-color analyze themselves and sign up for my services and receive a true summer result from me are often in denial, shock, or surprise if they weren't open to receiving a true summer result. I've recently thought through the reasons why, and here's what I've come up with. The first one is because they're looking at their natural hair color pictures, or perhaps they're around the age of 20 right now, and going, oh, there was gold in my hair. Newsflash, all hair colors out in the sun usually present some sort of gold. The undertone of my current hair color right now is red or orange, meaning if I was to put bleach on my hair, it would lift to a red-orange range. Here's me around the age of 20 with my natural hair color out in the sun. And this next picture is me in the shade around the same time. I find some true summers, look up on Google, ash hair color photos and say, my hair has never been in that range. Well, this is colored hair. You can't recreate natural hair color in a hair salon setting. Particularly in ash hair colors in a hair salon setting. Your natural hair color is made up of pigments unique to your internal biology that pre present themselves on the external side and it's impossible to recreate this hair color in a hair salon setting, particularly in unnatural ash hair colors. Another thing I commonly hear is, oh, those true summer colors are so muted or soft. I thought bright colors energize me. But color analysis is about looking at skin impacts of different colors on you and easily seeing you. And when a true summer wears bright colors, those colors overwhelm them and, you know, take vibrancy away from their coloring. But, you know, if somebody is untrained and uh, doesn't know anything about color analysis, I generally just say, are you more inclined to look at the color before you? Somebody who is a true summer wearing true spring colors, let's say, that are warm and bright, you're definitely more inclined to look at the true spring colors before them. Here's an example of that. So this person is a true summer. Her skin is more even, a healthier glow to it, and you're more inclined to focus on her first. The yellow around her, which is true spring, you're so distressed distracted looking at that yellow and it's taking vibrancy away from her skin. In fact, the client that I just shared on the screen with you thought that she was a true spring before our analysis. And here is an after picture of that client in her true summer colors. And you can really see how that top is highlighting her and not overwhelming her. It's adding vibrancy to her. You go to my how to DIY color analysis TikTok below. I go through natural hair colors um, and give you advice on ru ruling in or rule out palettes based on that and then doing color comparisons. And if you actually read through those details, most to all scenarios, I always say, test true summer versus true spring because I find those seasons are so often confused.